Hello once more everyone, welcome back to the channel, back here doing our week 7 NFL prediction video here on this Tuesday afternoon. So week 6 was a wild week, and so was week 5 for me. I'd say the first 4 weeks I was averaging 3.5 to 4 wins a week, and then week 5 and 6, I'd go 6 and 1 each week. That's what by the record is 26 and 16 going into today, going into this week 7 matchups. And we'll get started right away with that and talk about it. I did predict last week. The one big win, the Jaguars and Trevor Lawrence getting their first win in London. I did predict that correctly, and others as well. Going six and one. Of the only game I got wrong was last night's Monday night game between Buffalo and Tennessee. I did predict Buffalo to win that game, though. But with that being said, let's get right on to, into it with our Week Seven NFL prediction video. Starting with our Thursday night game, we're going to Denver. We're going to Cleveland for this on Thursday night. Cleveland and Denver. Honestly, this game's going to be an interesting matchup, guys. Um, this game's going to be an interesting matchup. You're looking at uh, the Browns and Broncos. Broncos and the Browns in Cleveland. Uh, you look at the matchup and standings. You have Baker Mayfield for the Browns, and you have uh, Teddy Bridgewater for the Broncos. So a really interesting game to look at on paper. Let me just find the standards real quick. I'm having issues getting the phone up. I guess the NFL app's not working with it. I'll get it in a second. Here we go. Yeah, okay, we got our standings up. <clears throat> so looking at the standings here in the AFC between these two teams, Broncos at 3-3 three, three and 6 games, and the Browns at 3-3 three three as well. Thursday night football, and honestly, the Browns have been the, one of the teams that was in the AFC division around last year. Had a chance to go to the AFC title game and play Buffalo, but lost to Kansas City on them uh, because of a penalty that, that the referees didn't call. Honestly, I'm going to pick uh, Cleveland to win this game at home on Thursday night football. So, yeah, I'm going with the Browns this game on Thursday night football to win this game. So, for the Browns here in Denver. <clears throat> Shakes us to our next matchup. In Tennessee on Sunday, between the Titans and the Chiefs, between between the Tennessee Titans and the Kansas City Chiefs, my yes, my Kansas City Chiefs. Last time I predicted my Chiefs to win, I was wrong on that against Buffalo, so wrong. Hopefully this time it turns out a bit better with Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs as a Kansas City Chiefs fan. I don't know. Our, my Kansas City Chiefs they're sitting at three three behind the Broncos. And overall, I'm not sure what I think. Tennessee sitting in 4 2 in first place in the AFC West, AFC South. Personally, as Kansas City Chiefs fans, I want to take Mahomes and the Chiefs to get the win in Tennessee. Honestly, for this one on Sunday, I'm going to have to go with Tennessee in this matchup. I'm taking Tennessee in this matchup because, you know, if I last time I took the Chiefs to win in Buffalo as a Kansas City Chiefs fan, I was wrong with that. I was wrong with that, and then I picked them to play Buffalo, beat Buffalo at home on, about a week ago, Sunday. I'm not doing that to that one. They picked Tennessee at home on Sunday for the win against the Chiefs. Maybe that will help me out as a Chiefs fan, and they get a win. I mean, picking the home team in Tennessee in this game. Which brings us to our next game. In Baltimore. The Ravens and the Bengals. Joe Burrow and Lamar Jackson. I hear Lamar Jackson 5-1 for the Ravens this year. Is an MVP candidate. And I hear him is much better. This team is 5-1. They're 3-0 at home. And they've won five straight. Honestly, I like the Ravens in this matchup. I don't know what the Bengals have beside Joe Burrow. I don't know if they can win. Honestly, I'm going to go with the Ravens to win this matchup on Sunday afternoon. Because I do like this matchup. I think the Ravens will win this game on Sunday. Which moves us on to our late afternoon kickoffs. Sunday afternoon. Out west. Our first West Coast game. My, yeah, our first West Coast game, I mean. Our first West Coast game between the Lions and the Rams. You have Jared Goff, who the Rams traded to the Lions for Matthew Stafford. And two quarterbacks going against their former teams in this game. And let's go to the NFC Conference. Take a look at these divisions. 
The Rams are 5 and 1. They're a game back of Arizona, who's 6 and 0. Oh. Well, I did predict to get the one last week over the weekend in Cleveland. <clears throat> I got that right. And Lions coming in 0 and 6. And I think this is the thing. Easy choice would be to pick the Rams to win. But when you have Jared Goff going into play the Rams and Matthew Stafford, who knows? It's like everyone's saying the Rams are like, and Matthew Stafford are like the team to beat this year. And they're going to play in Super Bowl 56 at home in Los Angeles and win. Not so fast. I will pick the Rams to win this game. I'm going home favorites. Last week in week six, if you remember the video, if you remember last week in week six video, we did go road heavy. This week we're going with the home team a lot this week. So, yeah, this team, we're going home with the home team a lot. So after this matchup, this takes us down to Tampa Bay. Tampa, Florida, where the Bears and Buccaneers are going at it. Mm-hmm. Bears and Buccaneers, come on, you want to know this. Rookie quarterback, Justin Fields, Bears. How do you do against the Packers? We know they won. We know Green Bay won. Then last but not least, we have Tampa Bay 5-1 and one in Tom Brady. Honestly, this is a matchup I'll be watching on Sunday afternoon, hopefully, after work at 325. I'm looking forward to seeing this game. Because I want to see if Justin Fields can beat a good quarterback. He no one won against Aaron Rodgers so far. And if you look at the Bears' schedule, sitting in second place, you look at the schedule the rest of the season. He has Aaron Rodgers at least one more time. Yeah, he has Aaron Rodgers at least one more time. He does have another future Hall of Famer in Ben Roethlisberger in Week Nine against the Steelers. Then he has Lamar Jackson, who's going to be an MVP candidate. He also has Kyler Murray, and then Aaron Rodgers again. I'm not sure if we'll see Russell Wilson because Russell Wilson's injured, but the Bears get a chance in this game. I have to give the Bears a chance, maybe, if the offensive line can stay, protect Justin Fields and get him get, get game plays in and stop the Buccaneers' defense. Tom Brady, on the other hand, he has weapons around him, honestly. I'm going to have to go with Tampa Bay, given the win. So we're going with our sixth road team this game. On Sunday, our fifth road team to take a win on Sunday in the game. So, that moving on, we're moving on to our Sunday night game. It looks like. And moving on to our Sunday night game. Interesting matchup. Not sure what I think about this matchup, though. Because it does involve the Indianapolis Colts and the San Francisco 49ers. Honestly, this is a Sunday night matchup that's going to be interesting to watch. As I look, as I'm looking at it, the 49ers and Colts, two and three, two and four. Honestly, hmm. It says Jimmy Garoppolo is going to start most likely. Colts, though, on the other hand, have Carson Wentz. He's been injured a lot in his career, even when his team, the Eagles, won the Super Bowl 52 a few years back. I'm going to have to go with the 49ers to win this game at home at 2-3. and three. A little, one less loss. They're coming off a bye week, it looks like. So, yeah, I'm going to give San Francisco the win in Sunday Night Football. Which takes us to our Monday Night game. Next, our Monday Night game. What do I think? Our Monday night matchup. We're going to Seattle. This one against the New Orleans Saints. Saints come in at 3 and 2. Seahawks come in at 2 and 4 without Russell Wilson. Geno Smith's the starter now with because of injury. Honestly, guys, I want to say I like the Saints in this game. I'm definitely going to pick New Orleans to win this game here on Sunday on the road at 3 and 2. Seattle with Geno Smith, I'm not sure how long that's going to work. So definitely I'm going to take the Saints on Monday Night Football next week. Here in Week 7 coming up in uh, about six days from now. So just do a quick recap real quick on who we're picking. This week, unlike last week, Week 6 we went road heavy. Week 7 here we're going to the home teams a lot. This week hopefully we can improve the 26-16 and 16 record and get it up a bit. So here's a recap. 
taking the Browns on Thursday night over the Broncos. Sunday, we're going to Tennessee and Kansas City. As a Chiefs fan, I'm sorry to say this. Whenever I pick the Chiefs, they've been bad this year. I don't, they've not been good, I'll tell you right now. My record when picking my favorite team, the Chiefs, real quick, is this. Um, let's, I'll tell you real quick. Um, yeah, I predict the 01, got them picked them in week five. They got a loss. Yeah, tons of times. I think as a bit. Okay, I was right. My record when picking my Kansas City Chiefs to play in games this season is one and two. One and two. So I figure, okay, if I'm one and two when picking them, why not take Tennessee to win and pick them? So I'm picking Tennessee to beat my Kansas City Chiefs. Maybe I'll be right. Um, maybe I'll be wrong on that, and I uh, get the Chiefs to win. I'm hoping. So it's the first time I'm picking another team to win. I'm hoping the Chiefs win. Then we're going to Cincinnati, and Baltimore, uh, taking Lamar Jackson and the Ravens over Joe Burrow and the B Bengals. Detroit, Atlanta, Matthew Stafford versus Jared Goff, the two quarterbacks who were traded for one another. I'm taking Matthew Stafford and the Rams. Then we're going to Tampa Bay, Bears, Buccaneers. Justin Fields, Tom Brady, and the Bucks. I'm taking Tampa Bay. On Sunday Night Football, I'm going with the Colts and 49ers. I'm taking Jimmy G of the 49ers over the Colts and Carson Wentz. Then for Monday night, coming up in six days from now, I'm taking the Saints and Jameis Winston over Seattle. So that's your Week 7 NFL Prediction video. If you guys liked the video, please remember to watch, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to tell your friends to do the same if they've not done so yet already. And please also hit the notification button below so you know when I upload a new video. That being said, have a nice day. Stay safe. And I'll see you with our Week 8 NFL Prediction video next Tuesday. Have a nice day. Stay safe. And I'll see you next Tuesday.